You know, I think you all know what this means. I got a CGC unboxing. I have no idea what to expect. These went out to CGC in June 2021. Up next on this video from Bronzeville Comics. comic book community this is jim from bronzeville comics coming to you with another video if you enjoy the content you see here on the channel please like comment subscribe um hit the notification bell when we have new videos generally videos coming out sunday tuesday and thursday at 10 a.m eastern time also you can follow us on the other socials i'm on instagram at bronzeville underscore comics and if you're interested in some of these books hit me up there they may be for sale um also uh I do whatnot sales more or less every Monday night at 10 p.m. Bronzeville underscore comics. Uh, you can give us a follow there, bookmark the shows, uh, and um, also a uh, link in my eBay store in the description. So let's set the scene, right? Um, I've been collecting comics since 1972 and have never really missed a month of getting new comics. And in terms of pursuing uh, older books, I was going to maybe New York Comic Con once a year for the past few years. I'd go to a show here and there and just pick up some books uh, to fill in Justice League run, pick up some adventure comics books, and work on my DC 1972 run. It's re it had really been a long time since I had uh, dabbled in buying back issues. And it was about uh, May of last year where I decided to start purchasing collections and purchase books off of eBay and send them in to be graded, okay? I had really good success with the one book from my personal collection I sent in to be graded. I sent that in through CCS. It was a Batman Adventures 12, and it came back as a 9.8. So, and I was in no rush to get that back. And this was in 2017, so it didn't take that long for the book to come back. So fast forward to the um, spring of 2021, and I bought a collection. I had bought a bunch of books. All of these were books that I had picked up. Um, actually, I think it's from two collections and a bunch of eBay sales for the most part. Now, not all the book boxes already open because not all the books in the box were mine. They came back to my LCS. Um, and some of them were his. Some of them were other customers. I actually got two books back. I had 60 books out at CGC. Um, no, maybe it's more than that. Maybe it's closer to 66. I got to double check to make sure all these are mine. Um, the moderns have come back in two separate boxes. So I'm going to split that into two videos. This is the first of the two. Um, and then the other box I'll do in another video. I have no idea what to expect. I made some mistakes, okay? Um, and I know that up front. Mistake number one was sending this stuff in through CCS. As I said, it took 15 months, more than 15 months for these books to come back, okay? And in the meantime, that's kind of connected to issue number two was I submitted these at the height of the market, especially for certain books. Um, in retrospect, I probably would have been better off just selling them raw when uh, the time was right. But I said, no, let me get these graded. And um, I, for a, a, a large number of these books, they're not worth as much as they were a year ago. If I had gotten them back, uh, you know, summer or even the early fall of 2021, they would have been worth a lot more. Okay. That's mistake number two. Mistake number three was I didn't have a keenly enough um, developed eye for grading according to CGC standards. Now, I've been collecting all my life and I know the difference between, you know, a, a near mint book, excellent, you know, very fine, good, poor. Uh, but I didn't know the specific defects and how they affected CGC grades. I more or less looked at books that were appealing to me. You know, were they complete? Did they have stains? Did they not have stains? Did they not have creases? That sort of thing. I wasn't counting spine ticks. Um, so I think some of these books will be in too low a grade um, to really have been worth being slabbed. So... Um, I'm not sure exactly how many books are in this box. Um, I think it's about 16, but we'll see. It's not a, it's not a full box, but there are, there are a good number of books in here. 
Um, we're going to go through them. Um, I'll post somewhere around here the uh, the fair market value of the book in this condition. Uh, and we'll talk about the books a little bit. And um, some of them I'm going to keep in the personal collection. Some of them I'm going to hold on to. Um, and then some of them, if you're interested, they'll be available. Okay. So let's get started without any further ado. I really don't know. I have an idea of the books that I submitted, but I don't know exactly what's in here. Okay, so this is a, a, this is not a bad book. Again, a book I would have rather had six months ago. This is Marvel Spotlight 28. Now, this was a bunch of books I had bought from a vendor um, who whose father had owned uh, a comic book store like 40 years ago. So he had a lot of inventory, and his books were pretty sharp. And just in looking at this cursorily, it looks pretty nice. I do not know what the grade is, but... We're going to reveal it. Marvel Spotlight 28 first solo. Story of Moon Knight 8.5. Not bad. Respectable. Off white to white. Okay. Um, I actually have a couple of other copies of this. So, yeah, I see a little crease in the corner down there. But, uh, again, these were pressed by CCS. Not by me. Um, that, I'll take that. That's that's not bad. Um, if, if I get a couple of wins in here, I'm going to be very happy. Uh, I, I, I'm sure I'm sure there are going to be some some losses, um, some books that don't come back in the grades I would like them to. Let's see what's next. So yeah, there were a bunch of those books, um, more so that are in the economy uh, part of this submission. And this is the the next book, twenty nine. Again, this book hasn't really maintained the value that it had um, following the announcement of the Moon Knight TV series. Nine four though, that's nice. That's a nice book. Um, I can't complain about that. Uh, I'm interested to see uh, what white pages. Interested to see the fair market value second solo Moon Knight story. Okay. So, so far, not so bad. <laughs> There's going to be bad stuff in here. I don't, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just preparing myself. Um, let's see what's next. I'm trying. I'm not, I don't know the grades. I'm not looking at the grades. I'm, ah, this, this I thought was pretty sharp. This is Godzilla number one. And this book has come, in, come up and down as more, you know, the Godzilla, Godzilla vs. Kong movie have come out. Um, I think there's there's potential of a TV series on the hot list. Again, I thought this was, was pretty sharp. Again, I got this from that same vendor. And it came out as a, yes! That's what I thought it was. I got a 9.8. Oh, yes, win. A win there. I'm really happy with that. That is a 9.8. For a book from 1977, that is awesome. Oh, I am really happy with that. I actually thought when I submitted this, it had a chance at a 9.8, and I was right. So, <laughs> you know what? So far with this fact, building myself up with low expectations um, has really paid off. That is, oh, that is awesome. A 9.8 for Godzilla number one. I actually thought that that was grading could grade fairly high could had a potential for a nine eight there was like one little crease um which i think was a, actually a printer crease or maybe it's gone no actually what it was was there it was an indentation on the book that they must have pressed out like somebody had written 25 cents in ballpoint pen on a sticker on the bag kind of deal um but evidently that pressed out and everything else pressed out and we got a 9.8 for a nice little bronze key okay so uh Again, tempered expectations overall. I don't know what I'm going to get. Oh, what's up next? Oh, Black Panther number one. That's not a bad book. Um, I think I had written down somewhere what I thought the Black Panther book might be. This was, I don't think it was a 9-8. All right, the, uh, this is his first ongoing series. Uh, story and art by Jack Kirby, and we got a 7-5. Okay, that is, eh. Again, I this is possibly a book that um, didn't need to get graded. Um, I, I'm interested to look at the graders' notes on that. I think there's some staining maybe on the back cover. So, oh, you know, it looks pretty good though for a seven five. So, hey, after that Godzilla book, I'm still pretty happy. Okay, I'm gonna have to take a closer look. You know, see if there's any cracks in the slabs and all that fun stuff. I've so far been pretty lucky with my CGC submissions in terms of um, avoiding damages. What is next? Ms. Marvel number one. 
okay, this is a popular book. Um, this, I think, again, this came from that same um, vendor that I bought from. I, he, I had bought one book from him and then I bought a bunch of others. I'm just going to, uh, real quick, I got my going dark. Okay. Ms. Marvel number one, and that came as a 7.5. Okay, that's again, you know, probably should have had a better eye to grade that book. Off white to white. Um, that doesn't have a ton of value. Again, interested in the grader's notes. It's hard to tell. I don't see anything major going on with this, but I'm sure there's stuff going on. There had to have been, right? Yeah, oh, there's some staining down at the bottom there. Okay. So also this is, uh, like, anytime you get a submission back from CGC, it's a little bit of a grading lesson for yourself, right? Oh. Oh, there was a, obviously there was a static book in there. Um, not keep with invoice and it has, okay. I don't know if that was my book or not. I didn't think I had any statics. Maybe I was wrong. Because uh, Also, I got some books from an estate sale. Joker number one. This was from a collection I picked up. Actually, no, Joker number four. This was, again, a book based on its value, unless it's like really high grade, which I don't think this one is. I think this is like mid to high grade, you know, like in the, probably in the 7.5 to 8.5 range. Um, doesn't look so bad. But uh, this was worth more like a year and change ago. So let me just get the, there we go. 9-2, okay. That's actually not terrible off-white to white pages. Um, this will probably stay in the PC. Um, I do have the full run of this a couple of times over. There should be a number one in here. So that's how many books. Two, four, six. Still have a, we still have a good amount more to come. Up next, what do we got next? Boom. Nova number one, of course. If you got Ms. Marvel number one, pretty sure there's a Spider Woman number one in here. Nova number one, first appearance of Richard Ryder. Um, we're probably going to see at some point in the MCU Nova appear. This is a book that people have been specking on forever. I've got a bunch of copies of this. I think this came in that same collect, that same vendor on eBay that I got some of the other books from, including Godzilla book. And this came back as, oh, Jesus, a 5-5. Five, five. Ugh. What was I thinking? What was wrong with that? I see a stain. It's a small stain there. I'm going to have to take a look at the gray's <laughs> notes on this. Yep. I don't think the FMV on this is going to be too high. Again, um, lesson learned. Jeez, what is? It doesn't look that bad. I don't see any major crease. Unless I'm missing something. I do see a little stain on the exclamation point. But that's not enough to take it down to a 5.5. Five. Yeah, maybe a crunch down there. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of... I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's a lot of um, cre uh, creasing on the bottom there that wasn't able to come out. Got cleaned up okay, but the back spine was um, has wear to it. It's hard to tell because it's white, but... Yeah. That's what that is. Okay, this is what I was talking about, about tempering my expectations. I did pretty well early on in the batch. Here, not so much. Okay, what's next? Another Nova number one. Um, maybe I picked this up as part of the collection. I think Ms. Marvel was part of a collection, too. Um, so, let's see what that is. An 8.5, respectable. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that over a 5.5, five, certainly. Um, so, that's not bad. Not bad. Um, that's not a, not a, not a loss there. I think the, <laughs> the Nova book is a loss. That's a, that's a bad grade. But I'm real happy with Godzilla. <laughs> this is what I was talking about in terms of books, values, plummeting. Um, if I had gotten this book back a year ago, ah, I'd be happy right before the movie, after the movie, not so much. Eternals, number one, first appearance of the Eternals, Jack Kirby, yada, yada, yada. We all know what happened to the Eternals. They are having a second movie though. Um, my theory is, though, the three is the big book because that's the first appearance of Cersei. Icarus uh, has his first appearance here. That's not so exciting. Anyway, we got an 8-5. Okay. Eh. Well, maybe I'll just hold on to that for a little bit. That's not bad. I mean, an 8-5, you know, when when I sent this book in to get slabbed, an 8-5 was worth, like, I don't know, $300 or something crazy like that. 
Now it's worth like 27. Um, so uh, I, I got a lot of Eternals back in, in the day. Um, okay, here, this, but oh my God. Is that, that is, oh geez, that is where. Ooh, this is a <laughs> Werewolf by Night 33. Um, the second appearance of Moon Knight. Uh, two things. Moon Knight's show has come and gone. So his books, you know, about six months ago, they were on fire. Now they are not. And that spine is a mess. Ooh, look at that. Yikesies. Um, I'm afraid to unveil this grade. But this is, <laughs> this is my fault. Not having a jaundiced enough eye. If this was a 32 in that condition, it would still be worth getting slabbed. 8-0. Whoa. 8-0. That is not artwork on the spine. That is, I mean, look at that spine wear. It's interesting to compare that to the 5.5 Nova. That gets an 8.5? Wow. That is bizarre. I'll take it. So that's not terrible. I still think, you know, it's probably under $100 value in an 8.5. I, I could be wrong. Up next... Okay, this was from um, an estate sale I went to. I picked up a bunch of books. This is one of them. Um, John Byrne's Next Men, number, was this, 21, I believe? Yes. And it is the first appearance of Hellboy in comics, or in comics in color, or something like that. Mike, Mc, Mc, Mike Mignola art on the cover. So this is a, a 90s book. Most of the rest that we had here were 70s books and 80s books, and this came back as a 9-4. That, that is a nice book. I will take that. I don't have a problem with that at all. That is a good grade. Okay, that mm, that's I'll take that as a W. That's a little bit better than I think I expected. Um, I had some books. So the books either came from um, this box and the next box. The um, the first collection I picked up picked up. There are three books from there. Um, a subsequent collection that I picked up. Uh, there were probably about ten books from there. We've seen a few of them. Um, an estate sale that I went to, which included that Next Men and a few others. And um, that one vendor off of eBay um, that I got them from. Actually, two collections from the same guy. Okay, here it is. Static number one. Um, this, of course, is infamous for being in the poly bag and getting that poly bag crease. Um, I didn't... Yeah, I guess I did submit this. Probably bought this off of eBay maybe picked it up somewhere uh, my notes aren't <laughs> that copious um, from back in those days and my memory is shot from there uh, this came back as a 9.6 I'll take that that is not bad at all um, we I'm gonna hold on to this for now this uh, kind of upgrades I think I have a 9.2 um, so yeah uh, I see uh, some spine ticks there so a 9.6 is appropriate there's also the question is does getting pressed by CCS uh, benefit um, you in grading? Do they have a, a bias in favor of books that have been pressed on premises? No evidence one way or the other, so that's just conjecture on anyone's part at this point. But 9.6 for Static. Hopefully, um, you know, we'll see him in a movie sometime soon. Oh, this is a book I love. I love this book. I don't know what grade it is. I don't remember the condition that I sent it in. All-Star Squadron 25. The first appearance of uh, the um, Infinity Incorporated, including um, the first appearance of Nuclon there, the big guy with the mohawk, who later changed his name to Adam Smasher, and we're going to see him in the Black Adam film. So this is, oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, keeper, keeper. I'm keeping this book. 9.8. Oh, I had submitted three of these in a 9.6 pre-screen, and none of them got graded, but this came back as a 9.8. White pages. Yes. So happy with that. Oh, that is one of my all-time favorite books. I actually have a Jerry Ordway signed copy, which is almost like a reader copy. Um, I'm just going to keep that. Ordway is one of my favorite artists. I always loved the All-Star Squadron because I'm a big DC Golden Age fan. Awesome. Okay, up next. Ah, Todd McFarlane. This is, uh, let's see, I think it's the third print. No, second print. Batman 423. Um, I... Uh, I think I actually saw the grade. 9.4 white pages. Very nice. Um, this I got from that estate sale that I got the Hellboy from. So that is that is pretty nice. Can't complain about that. Um, I actually didn't think 
the books would be that good. I think they cl must have cleaned up fairly well because they and a, a funny thing. The, I picked up this book at the estate sale. I went I was the first guy there, the second person to, to wait at the estate sale because I was there about an hour and 15 minutes early. Uh, the second guy there was also a comic book guy. So we were chatting. We were the first two ones in the house. I said, where are the comics? Dining room table. So I went into the dining room. I went to the near side of the dining room table. He went to the far side, and we started picking through books. I think if there were any ASMs, he got them. But a lot of the books were three books in a, a plastic bag. So after everyone was going through real quick um, and picking up the, the books they really wanted, I spent a little more time. And I picked up one bag, and it had Batman 422 and 424. Opened it up. In the middle was 423, 9.4. Interested in the uh, FMV on that one. Okay, what's next? Is it another copy? What is this? I didn't see the grade. I just saw the trade dress. Oh, another copy. This is a third print. Oh, the third print is from the estate sale. The second print is from a Batman collection I picked up. My own personal copy is a first print, so that is still in a short box in my, in my storage with all the other Batman run. So this book is a 9.6. 9.6 for the third print. Excellent. Oh, you know what? I was worried about this box, and so far, so good. Um, yeah, it would have been better a year ago, but still, I, I can't complain about these grades on the whole. What's next? I had this one? I don't remember where I got this. This, this could not, maybe it's not even mine. I don't know. I'll have to talk to my buddy. Tales of the New Teen, Tales of the Teen Titans number 44. First appearance of Nightwing. Was this part of that? I don't know where I got this one. I have to look at my notes. I have written notes somewhere. S after this submission, when I started doing my own pressing and cleaning and submitting or using Erod, I put everything in Google Sheets. But here I just have like paper all over the place. Uh, first appearance of Nightwing. Uh, you know, Dick Grayson becomes Nightwing. And that is a 9-4. Awesome. I think I might have gotten that on eBay. I have to look that up. I have to look up my CLZ. Uh, we got how many more? One, two, three more. How many do we have here? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, nineteen here. Maybe twenty-two in the other. I think my friend said there were forty-one coming back because he would have pulled out a uh, books that belonged to someone else. Oh, this was a book. So here's a funny story. Um, back in the spring, uh, I was looking on Craigslist ads and I saw some guy, some crazy guy having a sidewalk sale in the Bronx. So I went over, there's this guy, Anthony, he was selling books. I picked up some books from him. And then I saw another sale on Craigslist, uh, on Long Island for cold cuts and comics at a deli. So I went to, um, I, I went to a local show that said it was card show and they had comics and, you know, free stuff for kids. And it was like one sad table of um, comics. And I didn't get anything. I had my kids with me. And I was just out for the day. I said, I got to do something. So I drove to Long Island to the deli. And I bought uh, these two X-Men, 120 and 121 from Streetside Anthony. I'm like, this is what you do on Sundays? Um, and this is this. these are the first big books I bought from him. So let me just get this in focus. There. X-Men 120. First cameo appearance of Alpha Flight. Uh, and this came out an 8.5, off white to white, very respectable. Glad with happy with that one. I don't think I had that. Uh, actually, I think I have my notes under my pile of slabs here. Um, and then two more. I'm actually going to put the slabs on the floor for a minute. Ugh. Ooh, don't want to drop them. Be careful, Jim. You have an expensive pile of slabs. Ugh. Is it? No, it's oh maybe oh god, I know it was on a steno pad, but it's not that steno pad. It's uh, god, the, the, my notes are somewhere. Um, penultimate book I think from this. Yeah, one more after this, and this is the first full appearance of Alpha Flight one twenty one, and that he also picked up from Street Side nine six. Oh, oh, oh yes, oh nine six. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. That is, I'm, I'm really curious about the FMV on this book. Don't come asking. It's not for sale. Um, that, yeah, oh, that is, that is, that is really good. I, I had really low expectations for this box, but um, 
I'm I'm quite happy with what I got. Uh, it'd be interesting, you know. I haven't looked at the fair market value yet. I'm gonna, you know, look at the grades and and compare and see what uh, they're worth, and then you'll see that. And then five. Oh, Joker number one. So we had Joker number four. This was in the same collection I had picked up. Um, a guy who I just picked up the, that tub of comics. If you watched a recent video where I had like a, a big plastic bin of comics um, that had first Legion of Monsters, first Judo Master, the first collection that uh, I picked up from him, answered Craigslist ad, a um, bunch of DC books. Uh, so this was one of them uh, for right now until I get another one graded, the higher copy will stay. I have, I think, just one other copy. Joker number one, and that came back as a 9-4. Wow, that is an awesome grade for that book. Oh my goodness. 9.4, off white to white, but still, Joker number one. Don't come for this. I'm holding on to this one. Ah, oh, wow. So that's that's it for this box. I still have another box to go. I'm going to drop another video. You won't see that right away, but I'm going to get to it pretty soon. In the meantime, um, I'm going to go through these books and come up with an FM, the FMV for each of these. And... Um, Wow, that is that is good stuff, and we'll uh, we'll share. You'll have seen the FMVs all along. I'll come back in a, in, a, in a second, and we'll discuss the overall uh, value of all these books. Okay, so you saw the fair market value of each of the books. Uh, you saw it before I did, um, and if you had the nineteen books up, the fair market value is three thousand eight hundred twenty-six dollars. Um, I was looking for just a couple of wins in that. Um, I think I only had four of the books are valued at under $100, which I thought it would be worse. Maybe the next box will be. Um, the Nova number one, that was low grade. Uh, no excuse there. Should not have submitted that. The Ms. Marvel one, I think when the Marvel's movie comes out, that could bounce back a little bit. Um, the other books, the Eternals number one, that could bounce back a little bit. Won't be anywhere near what it was last year um, when they do a sequel. And the static number one, I think that has room to grow. We've never seen him on screen, and we may at some point in the near future. Uh, the big wins, a Joker number one in a 9-4, a first full Alpha Flight in a 9-6, um, a All-Star Squadron 25 in a 9-8. That's a personal win for me. I that book is staying with me forever and the Godzilla number one in a 9.8 to get a 1977 book in a 9.8 mm, that's really nice um I had actually paid for that book I bought that book for a hundred dollars on eBay I checked um what I paid for that most of the other books were part of collections I was happy with the the Moon Knight books that I got the Spotlight 28 and 29 both worth about 225 and the uh, where I'm mean, sorry, the Moon Knight books and the uh, Werewolf by Night 33 worth about 260. So um, all in all, a good box. Uh, I was I guess I had low expectations and I was pleasantly surprised. Um, so was it worth the wait? Needed a lot of patience. Um, I guess I can't complain about the pressing job that CCS did because I got pretty good grades out of these books. I think better than I expected for the most part. I have another box sitting here at the house that I have to uh, go through. I think there are 25 books in that box, uh, all moderns. And then I still have another batch of books that are economies that were in the same submission from last June. Those are, are in for grading at CGC. So we'll get them back at some point, hopefully in the near future. And after that, all the CCS books will have been taken care of, and it'll just be books that Erod has pressed for me or books that I have pressed myself coming back. Uh, I still have quite a few books out at CGC, over 100, and um, waiting for those to come back. Again, we'll see what uh, comes out of these. Uh, I was not displeased with this submission, so let me know what you think. Let me know which books that you like. Again, reach out to me on Instagram if there are any books that you're interested in. I'm not sure which ones I'm selling just yet, uh, but you can reach out to me. Maybe we can work something out. In the meantime, you can take a look at a couple of my other videos here. Um, actually, you know what? I'll post links to the videos of the some of the collections that I picked these up from. And this is Jim saying until next time, enjoy your comics.